to destroy another black man. I'm going to destroy Jim Jones with the truth, not a lie. He made fake paperwork to destroy Jim Jones. It's how he got famous. Then he turned around and said, Uggerville, which he didn't know was my family. He didn't know that. Jim Jones crew, the one, the Uggerville that runs with Jim Jones, that's my family. Yeah, little Uggerville that just came home from the feds and the bodies and the guns and all the rest of that, that son that get busy. Oh, yeah, he do get busy. Yeah, that's my family. China Brim didn't know that. He lied and told everybody on the Internet, made fake texts and said that Jim Jones offered him $50,000 through Uggerville to leave him alone about the paperwork. He lied about that. So the same dude made a video, right? I'm going to address this real quick. Five Guard was talking behind my back to my enemy. Disloyal to the fifth, my nigga. Five Guard, let me say this to you out of love and respect because I'm not going to drag you. It's 2021, I mean 2022, and I'm still going to make Black Lives Don't Matter one of the hottest songs in this goddamn country. I ain't even get started yet. But at the same time, because I, I, I still want to see that brother win. I could just turn my back and walk away on, on, on Five Guard. Five Guard is my brand. That's my brand. There would not be no Five Guard if it wasn't for Hassan Campbell. China Brim took text messages from Five Guard and put them on the internet. Right? I'm not going to read the text messages. This is the video right here with the text messages. It's the video. What I want to say, I don't want to address Five God. I want to address China Brim. In the Bible, God says, blessed is a peacemaker. He should be called the son of God. Blessed is the peacemaker. He should be called the son of God. 050 China Brim, you dusty, dirty section of YouTube, decrepit evildoer. You a decrepit evildoer. What I will say to you is, is that why would you, if Five God had something that he wanted to say to me, if he wanted to say that to me, which is, a, which is in grown man shit, why would you take his text message and put it on the internet? If he wanted to be on your platform, he would have got on your platform and said some derogatory stuff towards me. He could find it in you like a snake. Like a snake, like a two-faced, like a two-faced backstabbing bastard. And then you put it on the internet to take two dudes that's supposed to be like brothers and turn them into enemies. That is the work of the devil, and that's why your platform is always going to have a dark cloud over it. But good people is not going to want to join that community because what you did is whack. Anybody that deals with loyalty and, 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 and anybody that deals with or just don't like shysty niggas, you come across shysty, my nigga. Your platform is cursed. And the only thing that's ever, that's ever going to bless your platform is dirty, decrepit, gangbang niggas. That's why your numbers ain't grown since I've grown your platform, my nigga. The dialogue between you and Five Guard in that comment was disgusting. It was disgusting. To, to matter of fact, fuck it, since we here. Disgusting. Let me read it for y'all. When you do too much, you get exposed, thighs. That's what the nigga put on it, right? Let me read this for y'all real quick. So y'all don't have to go over to his platform to see it. Like, let me read this. It says, this nigga's a bona fide, ten toes down, this, that nigga, called him all types of retards, put his wife and name on blast. When, when, when he said he was meeting, I thought it was a lie. I'm trying to read this, but he put writing over it. All right, I... Nothing, I can't read this stupid shit. Nothing but you, nigga, who believe shot a nigga in 2020. 
who believe a nigga shot a nigga in 2021 for whatever reasons, but you're not shooting the niggas that violate you. Yeah, right. That nigga a bozo. Not about no action. Right? That's what he said about me. So basically, <laughs> Five Guard is dissing me in a right, in a, in a text and talking about uh, um, who believes that Hassan Campbell shot somebody. I didn't shoot nobody. I don't want to shoot nobody. I'm not incriminating my motherfucking self, nigga. I don't care if somebody believe I shot somebody. I don't want to shoot nobody. But my whole thing is, is if you in my face, depending on who you are, and you come to me, or rather, it don't matter who you are, and you come to me aggressive, one of us is going to die. And it's just that simple. I put holes in people with my knife. I don't, I don't own a gun, FBI. I will poke you up. It don't matter who you is. Nobody put their hands on me. That's for one. For two, when I squashed the beef with uh, the 10 does down, dude, it was because one of my childhood friends that did 30 years in jail just so happened to be best friends with him. They spent 20 years in jail together. Right? On top of the fact that Ten Toes Down is my cousin's brother. You understand that? My cousin's brother. I never, like, bottom line to it is, so blessed is the peacemaker. I tried to make peace. And see, this is why niggas think that they can play with me, because there's something, so, cause, well, if you let him diss you, I could diss you too to get some views. See, this childish shit, this is what grown men do, disloyal you to the fifth. Right? So let me read the rest of the stupidity. Right? Because China Brim, your movement is, 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 it'll never be as big as it should be because you disloyal you. Now, this is the coat that I brought Five Guard. Me and Five Guard went down to Darucci's Lever. I went to two stores down there. I bought two jackets from Darucci. He gave me the third one for free. I paid $700 for the jacket that I bought Five Guard because I loved him. And I wanted to make my brother smile. I wanted to make my brother smile. I wanted to share with him the way my big homie T-Mac used to do with me. There was a time where I, I fell back. And my brother T-Mac, he used to give me money to stay out of trouble. My big brother, if there was beef, then i come out. I absolutely, for years, never did anything. No job, no nothing. I got paid by my big homies to stay out of the streets until it was time for beef. And I was living like that. And when I went shopping with my big homie T-Mac, he would buy me coats and clothes. He bought, he was buying my whole wardrobe. Because that's what my brothers taught. You want for your brother what you want for yourself. I want success for five guard. But nevertheless, right? It is a picture. First day I met this nigga, look how he looked. Do I look like I'm inspired or he inspired me? This is Five God. Do I look like he inspired me or I inspired him? He said I'm jealous and want to be him. I was up when I met him. I was up when I met him. Oh, 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 oh. no. He said I was, I was up when he met me. Nigga was wearing Mexican Jordans. That's what he said. I was wearing Mexican Jordans. Hassan Campbell. You was wearing Mexican Jordans. Again, respectfully. Let me, let me break this shit down. I'm not going to even get into my jewelry. I don't have my diamond tester, but I'll show you when I tested my, my... I didn't even get into that. That's childish. At 30, I bought my first home. 2021... When I was riding with Five Guard, I bought me a Benz, I bought me a Can-Am Spider, all in the same year, cash. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I'm paying on notes on my Benz, because I felt like it. But nevertheless, I still put a big, a big deposit on my shit. Benz, in my yard, huh? Talk to me grown, or don't talk to me at, oh, hold up, what, what am I doing? Talk. Business owners, save up to 100% on your credit card processing costs. Take control and... Oh, matter of fact, my Wi-Fi. You know what, my Wi-Fi, this is this room right here. This is my Wi-Fi, it's not the other one. Ain't no need. Y'all already know I got the bins outside. Y'all already know I got the spider outside. Talk to me, grown. Y'all seen. Five Guard, you. 
You, 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 you watch me take my whole yard and transform it into some shit that looked like Fantasy Island. I spent a lot of money to give my kids a better life. The inside of my house, well, it's dirty. It's a mess right now. I'm going to get on my kids. It's a mess in here right now. My house is decked out. You've been here. Talk to me grown or don't talk to me at all. But anyway, I was wearing Mexican Jordans, right? So the picture on the bottom shows when we did a video, right? I like this. That picture on the bottom, I was looking like a mess to him. I was there to interview him, Five Guard. I was there to interview Five Guard so that I could put him on my platform and make the Five. This was the beginning of me making the Five Guard brand where you see millions of views all over my platform advertising this artist and giving him what the game don't want to give him. Five Guard is blackballed by Jim Jones and Dipset. He is blackballed by the music industry. They don't want him. They don't want him. My problem with all of you dudes that instigated the issues between me and Five Guard, right? Even though Five Guard is a disloyal you nigga, a grown man that's disloyal you, because I would never go to your enemies and talk bad about you. I caught you dealing with Shanks, Shanks King, the nigga that got my house raided, behind my back. You should have never had no communication with him. Now you got communication with China Brim. Why do y'all niggas keep finding yourselves making friends with my enemies? This ain't the art of war. You're not my enemy. You're somebody that I treated like a brother and I'm trying to help. This is why your music is still on my platform. Because I want to see you win. You done drop music every day now on your platform and none of these niggas that you in communications with has posted your music on a platform, on a Instagram, on a nothing to help you. But what they will post is divide and conquer. The one nigga that want to see you win, the one nigga you talking bad about behind my back. I never called Zay and sent mother on the phone and told Sin that you called him a fat, sloppy nigga, and that's why he got stabbed and never did nothing. I never told you, Zay, that you said you wasn't fucking with him because you chose KK, the nigga with the bit with the deal over Zay Mana. I would never do that. That's disloyal to the fifth. Oh, I guess I just did. You see how it feel? I don't get next to niggas to get hot. I am the hot nigga. I don't get next to niggas to get hot. I'm not here to prove to niggas. And for those of y'all that just joined, this is my indictment for my murder case. One of them. These niggas told you I've never been to jail for murder. They gotta go back to the beginning to see it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram so y'all can fact check it. I'm not here to prove to you niggas that I rock your snack box. I'm here to show you how to get property and get your kids out of the hood. And I'm here to draw a line with this real nigga and bad bitch shit. I'm here to draw a line for the civilians so our children can live amongst and travel to and from without your children killing my children. I'm here to say enough is enough with this drill music, with you niggas sitting up there raising your babies to make raps about killing my child after they killed my child. We tired of you niggas. I hate with a passion, you old gang niggas. And this ain't a diss for five guard, because I'm still going to promote the nigga music, because I want him to win. I pray that he beat that court case so he can stay with his beautiful daughters. And I pray you grow up. Five God, I pray you grow your little, your little, your, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, Five God. I'm so fucking sick and tired of you hiding your age. Act it, motherfucker. I'm so sick of you telling people to stop worrying about your age. They worried about your age because the shit that you doing don't match your age. Grow up! My brother. I'm not here to tear you down. I'm here to build you up. It's 
2021. My platform on all of my pages is about to go to the next level. It's either you riding with me or you ain't, my brother. Or you can just stay with them disloyal niggas. The failure section of YouTube. If it ain't about like, shares, and comments, then what the fuck is you on YouTube for? Stop lying. If it ain't about like, shares, and subscribe, what are you on Instagram for? Get back to the street corner. Do what real niggas do. Bang, 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 until you go to jail for the rest of your life. Ride the shit that I'm trying to save you from. And last and in closing, dealing with five guard and this shit, that homeboy pulled up. China Brim, you a piece of shit. You disloyal. you. You took that man's words that he said behind my back and you put it on the internet. It's the only reason why I'm even addressing it. First day I met this nigga, look how he looked. Look how I looked, getting in the Audi. Before I got the Benz, I was driving the Audi. I can't even fit all of my cars in my driveway. I had to extend a driveway on the other side of my house.